Hi, boys and girls. We're gonna do one more thing in our orange shape folder, and then we will be done. Everything in this folder uh, we have finished, okay? So um, what I wanna do first is just do a quick, quick review of the shapes that we've done so far. And they're not all here, but the main ones are here. Remember Sandy Square, four sides, four corners, and all four sides are the same. Ricky rectangle, four sides, four corners, but two sides are short and two sides are long. Tommy triangle, three sides, three corners, right? Two are slanted, one is straight. Circle, Cindy circle. Okay, no sides, no corners. It's a curved line. And the new one that we did yesterday, Honey hexagon, this is hexagon. Hexagon, remember, has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Now, what we're gonna do today, oops, one more thing. Before we do it, I wanna just show you three sight words that we've learned that are really important. We've got I, this one is C, and this one is A, okay? And then I also have some sight words or color words. And these are already on the colored cards, so these are gonna be super easy, but I wanna show you because there's a new one in here that we haven't gotten to. I think we'll be doing it in the next few weeks, so R-E-D, red, O-R-A-N-G-E, orange, Y-E-L-L-O-W spells yellow, G-R-E-E-N spells green, B-L-U-E spells blue, P U R P L E, purple, purple, B R O W N, that's how you spell brown. And the one that we haven't done yet, but you need to know for when we do this little book today, is P I N K. I bet you guys could sound that out. P I I N K, pink, pink. Okay, and you see it on the pink card. But when it's in the book, you're not gonna see it on the pink card. So what I want you to do is get out this little book. I've been waiting to do this because we hadn't done hexagon yet, okay? And it says, I see shapes. What you're gonna do on the cover is write your name. This, the, you're gonna find it in the orange folder. I'm gonna write Mrs. J. J stands for Mrs. Jenkins, right? And on the very first page, you're going to see a circle. Now, you will be able to read this book because look, we've got our th three sight words, I, C, A, and then we have a color word, R, E, D, red, R, E, D, red. Now, you might not know how to read this word, but you can read it if you look at the picture, right? And it might trick you a little bit because circle sounds like it starts with a S, but it doesn't. If you remember my little circle here, let's see if I can go back to my circle. Oh, I don't have it on there. It was on the poem though, right? Circle, Cindy circle, but it starts with a C, because sometimes C does make this sound like an S. I see a red circle. So of course you're gonna color this red, but what I want you to do is, hang on, I should have had all these crayons out ahead of time. I've got my basket of crayons, and right now I'm gonna see if I can find all the different colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, I try to think of everything before I start the lesson, but sometimes I just don't do it. Red, or here's my red, here's my orange, here's my yellow. Let's find a green, find a blue, find a purple, and we're gonna need a pink. And I think that's it. Oh, and a brown, here's my brown, and a pink. Okay, I've got all the colors that we just talked about. So now I am ready. Now I'm gonna go back and color that circle later. But what I'm gonna do is just show you, see how that word is underlined, R-E-D? I want you to underline it too, with the right color. Because when you go back to read it, you won't have to think twice about it. And then of course you're gonna color your circle. And I'm gonna color that in later. I'll just go like that so you can see it. Okay, the next page says, I see a, now you see in the picture that it's a square, but you have to see the color words. So if you look at the words, I see a, B L U E spells blue. Now can this be square? Yeah, even if you don't know how to spell it, look, s qu qu square, square, okay? If you know enough of those letters, 
where you can sound it out. So I'm gonna underline the word blue with the blue crayon, and I am going to color my square. And I'm gonna finish coloring that later, okay? All right, I'm gonna turn the page. The next one, we see it's a triangle. So we know triangle's gonna be in here, right? Yeah, we need to read the, the rest of our words to see what color it is. I C A, now we gotta spell it. Y E L L O W spells what? Yeah, yeah, yellow. It's the only one of our color words that starts with a Y. So I'm gonna underline that word yellow and I'm gonna trace and color my Tommy triangle. And I will finish that later because I wanna get through the book, okay? And then, oh, you guys are gonna like this one. I see a, I see a heart, okay? And if this word wasn't there, that's what it would say. I see a heart, but we have a color word here. So we, I see a P-U-R-P-L-E. Do you guys remember that one? P-U-R-P-L-E, purple, purple, P-U-R-P-L-E. Purple's what that spells. Okay, I'll finish coloring that later. All right, and right now that's page five. I'm gonna turn the page. Okay, oh, we did this one. I see a oval, but now we have to get the color word, G-R-E-E-N. I hope you guys remember that one. G-R-E-E-N, G-R-E-E-N. I know how to spell green, G-R-E-E-N. We've done quite a few seesaw activities with color words too, so hopefully you guys are gonna remember those. I'm gonna turn the page again. Now, oh, I see a rectangle. I see Ricky re rectangle. But do it doesn't say I see a Ricky rectangle. It says I see a, since we haven't done this one yet, let me show it to you again. P-I-N-K is pink. So I'm gonna underline that word pink with a pink crayon and I am going to trace the rectangle and I'm gonna color it in later. Now when you guys send me the picture, you don't have to send me every single page, but I do wanna make sure that you've done the book. So I do want, maybe you can send me a couple of pages, okay? Maybe, maybe your favorite color, that'd be awesome. Maybe you can send me a picture of the cover so I know you did it and then send me your favorite color or your favorite shape. Okay, this one says, I see, now this is not an A, this is A-N, Anne. I see an, I'm gonna say that, star, okay? You might not be able to read the word star yet, but you see the picture of the star. Then you go back down, could that be star? R, star, yes. Oh, and they all end with a period. Okay, here's the color word, O-R-A-N-G-E, O-R-A-N-G-E, O-R-A, N-G-E, orange is what that spells, and I am tracing it right now. Okay, a star has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did I get that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sides. But that's the sides. But the corners are one, two, three, four, five, five corners. I'm gonna finish coloring that in later. And this is the last one. So you know what, boys and girls, I ended up adding this page. I had to make this page. I did it a long time ago because um, hexagon wasn't in there and we wanted to have hexagon in there. I-C-A-B-R-O-W-N, brown hexagon, hexagon. So I've got my brown crayon here. I'm gonna underline the word brown, and I'm gonna trace around this. Now this book might take a little while to do, but it's gonna be a great book for you guys to have because it has, it's great to practice reading, it's got color words in it, it's got three of our sight words in it. When you're done reading it, make sure you write it on your November reading log, and then put it in your book box with all your other books. Okay, happy reading.